Affinity Photo 2, iPad version, Beginner's Guide to Using Drag and Drop, and the Place Command. Hello and welcome to this iPad Affinity Photo tutorial, looking at placing files, using drag and drop from your photo, or files folders, plus getting images from an internet website. Before I start the tutorial properly, I just want to say, there may be more than one way to do these functions, but this is the way I found works best for me. Also, I am not too good at doing certain tasks, with finger swipes and gestures. So, I will use menu options most of the time. The last thing to add, is the placement policy of Affinity Photo. There are two options, when it comes to placed files, embedded or linked. By default files will be embedded, unless the file size is too big, then you will be prompted to use linked instead. Embedded means the file you bring into or place into your document, will be fully embedded in the document. This just means, all the data about that file, is now inside your document. So, when you save your document, the file size will be bigger because of any embedded items you have in the document. Linked means, that although the placed item is visually, in your document, the file isn't embedded, just linked to a website or folder destination. If the website changes its images, or you delete or move a file on your iPad, the next time you want to edit the file, the app will warn you, that it can't find the linked files. Because the file isn't embedded though, the save file size will be much smaller. By default Affinity Photo, on a computer is set up to use embedded as a policy. On the iPad, I think it depends on how the file was added or where the file, is to be found. Some files, I thought would be embedded, were in fact linked. You will need to keep an eye on this, when it comes to your final save or export. I would highly recommend, that in advance of editing, that a bit of forward planning, before you start placing files will help. By this, I mean make a new folder and place into this folder, all the images from your photos folder, or images and other files you have in your files folder, that you want to use. Also, I do want to add, that my photo and file folders are all linked via iCloud. If you are using a different cloud service, you may have to find a different workaround. I have opened a new document in Affinity Photo. I then pressed the iPad Home button, to return to the iPad's main screen. I then tapped the Photos icon, at the bottom of the screen. When the Photos folder has opened, I tapped on the three dot icon at the top of the screen. This will open a menu, from which I selected Slide Over. This moves the folder just off screen, and you can see once more, the main iPad screen. I opened Affinity Photo again, and the Photo Files screen will slide partially back over the top of Affinity Photo. I just selected, an image and dragged it to my document, note the green plus sign on the image icon I am dragging. When I release the file, it will be dropped into my document. Using the Move tool, I can reposition and resize as needed. Back to the Photos Files screen, at the top is a button called Select. Tapping this, will allow you to select multiple files. I select three images, then tapped and held one of them, and dragged all three files to my document. Note the green plus sign and number three on the icon being dragged, showing three files are being added. At first, it looks like the files haven't been added, this is because the photos file screen, is hiding them. So I tapped the three dot icon at the top of photos, to get the menu, to close photos. Then you can see my images in the place studio. The active image will have a blue tick on it, you can change the active image by just tapping another image. When I had an image selected as active, I tapped and dragged out, that image onto my document. Once it was finished and I released my finger, the image is no longer in the place studio. I then added, the other two images, and then the place studio closed itself. 
I then opened, the Layers Studio, and with the Move tool selected. I tinkered with the four images, positions and size. When I was happy with their positioning, in the Layers Studio, I then tapped and swiped to the right, all the UN highlighted layer files, so all four layers were selected. I then tapped the middle icon, at the top of the Layer Studio, to group the layers. Now if I move or resize the group the layers will stay as I placed them. Getting files from the files folder, works pretty much, like getting them from the photos folder. I tapped the home button, to reduce affinity photo, and then selected the blue files folder. Mine is already open in my setup files folder, you may need to navigate to your folder, with your saved files. I tapped on the three dot button, at the top of the screen, to get the menu to use the slide over mode. I then reopened Affinity Photo, and I then tapped and dragged an image to my document. I used the Move tool to resize and reposition the image. Next, with my right hand finger, I tapped and held an image icon, and moved it towards the document, until the green plus sign appeared in the corner of the icon. Then while still holding that file, using my left hand, I tapped and selected two more files. When I released the files, they were imported into the Place Studio, in Affinity Photo. I just needed to use the three dot button, to close the files folder. I drew out the three files, onto my document and the Place Studio closed. I then used the Move tool, to reposition and resize these newly added files. When I was happy, I opened the Layer Studio, and using the Tap and Swipe Right method, I select some layers and then grouped them together. Lastly, I selected the heart logo layer, then duplicated it to increase its visibility. I selected the two heart files layers, and grouped them also. Then I moved and resized them, to show that as a group the two layers stay together. Now first off, let me state, we all know, that using web images can in most cases be a breach of copyright laws. So, I am not condoning this in any way. That said, I need a web page to demonstrate the process. So, I will use the Serif Help file page. A link to this page will be in the YouTube description of this video. As these logos are images, for a product I am helping to promote, I am hoping Serif will not complain. I have opened a new document in Affinity Photo. Then I pressed the iPad's home button to select the web browser, and I went to the Affinity Help site. At the top of the interface, there is the same three dot icon, that the files folder page has. Tapping this icon, opens the same menu, where you can select to view the web page in slide over mode. Once slide mode was active, I reselected Affinity Photo, which should still have the same blank document open. I tapped and dragged, a couple of the Affinity logos, to my document. Then I tapped, and held one logo, using one hand, then using the other hand I selected the other logos. I then dragged the three selected logos to my document. When I released the screen, the three logos were in the Place Studio. Using the three dot button, 
I closed down the web page and the slide over mode. I then drew out the three logos, and when I had done them all the place studio closed itself. I opened the layer studio, and you can see all the layers for each logo. I then opened the resource manager, and looked at the details of one of the affinity photo logo layers. You can see the file is embedded and not linked to the web address. I returned to the layer studio, and then tapped on the plus sign icon, to get the menu to add a new pixel layer. The text of the logos is a bit tough to see on the white background. So I am going to add a colored background, so they show up better. I selected the flood fill tool, then selected the color studio and picked a red color. I then tapped on the document area, to fill the active blank layer with that color. Next, I returned to the layer studio, then dragged the red layer, to the bottom of the layer stack. I then, used the move tool to move the logo layers to new positions on my document, resizing some of them. I also selected three of the layers and grouped them together. The place command is found in the document menu. When you tap and select place from the menu, you will get a panel that gives you two options. Place from files, and place from photos. Depending on where your file is located, select the folder you need, and find the file and select it. Once you have selected a file, you will be returned to your document and you now have two options. You can just tap inside the document, and the file will be placed, in its actual size, and you will have to resize and reposition it as required. Or, you can tap and hold, on the document. Then drag outwards and draw the placed files in the rough size and position, as you want it to be, leaving just minor adjustments to do. Just like when you use drag and drop, you are not restricted to just using place with image files. You can use place with, Photoshop PSD files, Affinity Designers, .af photo files, and many other file types. I will next select an Affinity Designer, .af photo file, and draw it out onto my document. After repositioning it, I selected the Resource Manager Studio. I then tapped on the layer in the Resource Manager, to see the layer's details. You can see the file is embedded and Artboard 1 is being displayed. If I tap on the arrows on either side of the named Artboard the displayed image will be from a different Artboard or the whole document. Finally, I want to use the place command with, a Photoshop, PSD mockup file. Unlike, image files and PDF files, which are pretty much universal, and abide by certain rules. A PSD file is only as good as the person who made them, and may depend on what version of Photoshop, they use to make the file. A Photoshop, PSD file, is much like Affinity Photos .af photo file. In that, it will encase many layers and effects. So, if the PSD file, includes a filter or effect from a new version of Photoshop, then Affinity Photo may struggle to work with it. I would imagine, most free mock-up PSD files, are fairly basic and should be okay. If you buy them though, they might be more advanced and use features, that could be a problem for Affinity Photo. I will use the command menu, and the place command, to open a PSD mockup file, I got from Freepix, I will add a link to this file in the video's description on YouTube. 
Once selected I drew out the file onto my document, and positioned it as I wanted it. I opened the layer studio, which displays the overall file, not the layers within it. If I double tap the file's layer thumbnail, in the layers studio, it will open a layer called graphic. The other file's layers, are a mask and a perspective layer, these are not showing in this view. This PSD file is easy to use, as it is quite well made, all I will need to do is, use the place command, to add one or more images within the boundaries of the graphic layer. Once I had my image placed, I resized and repositioned it. Then I tapped the arrow in the very top left corner of the interface, to go back to a view showing the image in place. The layer studio also, now shows the other previously hidden layers. If I once again tap on the top left arrow, the view will return to the original view but with my image now added. I could then crop the image, and save it or export it as a JPG. Well, that finishes my look at placing files, with either drag and drop or by using the place command. I have also done two written tutorials on this subject, one for the iPad version and the other for the PC version of Affinity Photo. Again, I will add links to both, in this video's description. Thanks for your support and goodbye.